Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will present a few applications for the ice powder mod. This mod can be found in the Vault Hunters mod pack for version 1.18. Before we begin, I would like to remind you to subscribe, leave like and leave a comment if you find this tutorial helpful. The video will be divided into the following stages. Introduction, crafting, how it works, setups and conclusion. Let's start from the beginning. The, this mod is categorized under protection and its main purpose is to control spawners allowing for easy creation of mob farms. It is worth mentioning the cost as well. To unlock this mod you will need 3 knowledge points which is not a lot. Now crafting. Not everyone knows but you can check every receipt in a mod called just enough items which is located on the right side when you open the inventory and in this case you need to type add ice powder in the search bar to find the specific item you are interested in. Left click on the item once you have found it and you will see how to craft the particular item. To better illustrate this I have provided to the recipes here. Let's start on the right side focusing on the block that interests us the most in this mod pack, which is the survival spawner. The first thing that catches our eyes is the echo pog, which is quite expensive, especially in the early stages of the game. It requires 4 echo gems which are very rare and 8 pog and each pog requires a gem named after players from the world SMP. The next components are black chromatic steel ingots which we create using perfect black opal and 8 chromatic steel ingots. These are not the easiest items to obtain in short. Finally we have the cage piece which is made from the black chromatic steel ingot and 8 cage dust. To obtain cage dust efficiently we can either break spawners in the vault or create them using 4 larimar gems and chromatic steel ingot. And that is all there is to the crafting process. How it works. Now let's discuss how the surreal spawner itself works. Here we can see the interface of this block which includes a slot for an egg and option to either keep the spawner active all the time or control it with the redstone signal. First, let's see it to be active all the time and place an egg inside. As accepted, the bee egg immediately starts functioning and bees begin to spawn. And now the second option, if we set control to be based on the redstone signal, we need the item to activate. In my case I will use a lever, so I mentioned before with the redstone option turned on, we take a lever, place it on the spawner and activate it. This way we can control the spawner's operation and use it only when we need setups. The first setup is a manual setup where we have to manually kill the mobs. As you can see we have water in the corners of our platform, which pulls the mobs to the killing area. The killing area should be customized to suit your needs, but what you see here is a basic version. So let's move on to using the first option. The best solution would be to use a vault sword since it doesn't lose durability. It is also recommended to enchant the sword with the looting tree to maximize the drop rate. So now we will enchant our sword and activate the spawner. After an hour of using this setup you can accept to obtain around 7 and half thousand rotten flesh. Now for the summary, pros of the first setup. We can use a sword with the looting, no need for additional mods for this setup. In short, it's a just simple setup. Cons of the first setup. We have to spend our time killing mobs, which can be a significant drawback and we have to manually convert mob X into spawner. I believe that for the initial setup there is not much to complain about as it serves its purpose. The second setup is automated setup but requires another mod called Dark Utilities which provides vector plates and player damage plates. With this setup we don't have to spend our time actively killing mobs and now you can see here how it looks. We have vector plates that lead the mobs to the killing area using the player damage plate which offers more drops than the regular damage plate. All we have to do is active the spawner and farm starts working. After an hour of using this setup you can accept to obtain around 7300 return flesh. Summary of the second setup. Pros. Passive item 
income cons no looting effect lesser quantity of items compared to the first option and requires unlocking another mod here we need to consider what is more important to us the quantity of items we receive or the fact that we don't have to do anything actively and receive items passively personally i would choose this option over the previous one because i could use that time for something completely different the third setup is also an automated setup but it has a significant advantage which is the automatic swapping of eggs in the spawner allowing us to obtain items from multiple mobs at once the mod that makes a big difference in this setup is modular routers and you can find a tutorial for it on my channel so feel free to check it as it out as well moving on we also utilize drawers to store our items let's divide this into two areas the first area is the mob killing and item collection setup which looks like this we have the first modular router equipped with the sword with looting and an activator module which is set to attack nearby mobs it also has an energy upgrade which is required for the activator module to work correctly and a speed upgrade to increase efficiency the next modular router is responsible for item collection and is equipped with vacuum module and an mk1 sender module directed downwards to send items to our buffer from the buffer another modular router using Ruler module MK1 extract items and MK2 sender module sends the items to the drawer controller which stores the items in drawers. This concludes the first area. Now let's move on the second area which is the egg swapping in the spawner. At first we have a chest where we place the egg we want to use. We also have two modular routers. The first modular router has an um, MK2 sender module to send X to the spawner and puller module MK1 to e extract X from the chest. The second modular router has a puller module MK2 to extract X from the spawner and MK1 sender module to place the X back into the chest. There are centrally ways to optimize this process, but I am just showing you an example of its application. and. That is all there is to the functionality of this setup. After an hour of running this setup using three eggs, zombie, skeleton and spider and low level sword with minimal damage, we can accept the following loot. 1080 arrows, 1380 bones, 1200 strings, 360 spider eyes and 1080 rotten flesh. There are certainly ways to speed up the egg swapping and mob killing process, but this is the amount of loot you can accept from this setup by minimum. Summary Pros Passive item income, sword with the looting, fully automated solution. Cons Requires more materials to create this setup, requires multiple mods for full automation. The only thing I have to say is that this setup provides a fully automated farm where we don't have to make any changes which is a great solution in my opinion however it does come at higher cost but as always there is a trade-off in every situation and we come to end of this episode and i want to thank you for sticking with me for this long i hope the video showcased interesting application and provided general understanding of the mod's purpose. Personally, I would rate this mod a 7 out of 10. The high cost significantly impacts this rating, but overall I believe it is a good and useful mod, hence the rating. It's definitely possible to create more cost effective and efficient setups than the ones I presented, but I will leave that up to you. Thank you for watching and I would like to remind you to subscribe, leave a like and comment on which mod you would like to see in the next episode. For now I wish you a great day and goodbye. Bye!